Hello, nerds, and welcome to a crazy YouTube video. Look at this. Look at this. A John Curtin Piety spawn. This is absolutely phenomenal. Not only that, we have Hermetic Order. And we have Ley Lines. We actually have Ley Lines. This is going to be a really fun game. I'm going to try to go for as many great people as possible, which probably means some type of Oracle, um, as well as using Pingala with Grants and some type of combination here. But I'm really, really excited to jump into this game. And trust me, you'll want to watch this whole series as this game gets absolutely insane. And if you stick with me until the end, you'll learn how to replicate the strategies involved to get stats just as crazy as this. Also, quick thank you to J for actually posting this on Reddit. This is where I got this save file and uh, just a quick little shout out. Thank you. Hey, in terms of settling, I saw a lot of people talking on the Reddit discussion about where to settle. Some people just talked about settling on the salt, but then you don't really have a good harbor. So I like settling directly in place because you can harbor right here. Uh, there's also this reef and which makes a good campus here. But remember, we are playing as John Curtin, plus three housing in all coastal cities, pastures trigger culture bombs, and then yields from campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares are plus one on charming and plus three on breathtaking. So that takes this plus three campus and actually makes it a plus six campus because it is on a breathtaking tile. I wanna try to make sure that I put all of my districts on breathtaking tiles, which means we're gonna have a lot of fun with appeal this could be a oracle spot in the capital, but because I think I, I'm gonna end up working a lot of ocean tiles here, I'm gonna wanna have mausoleum of Holocarnassus in the capital because the mausoleum will give us science, faith, and culture on all of our coastal tiles, as well as the extra engineer charge. And we're gonna try to prioritize working a lot of these ocean tiles after we get our, of course, our, our early game going with this Pietiti. Uh, I might actually wanna settle up here, Again, we have a fantastic harbor next to a late line, as well as another really good campus here, which means this might be our Oracle City. I might look for an Oracle somewhere out here. I think I really like this start. Uh, settling in place keeps the yields from the Paietiti, so I'm gonna go ahead and settle our capital right here. We will be naming this Nerdy Town, and we're gonna immediately work this high food tile. High food as in it's the only tiles that has two food, but a high culture and high gold tile. Uh, we're instantly making seven culture per turn, <laughs> as well as 15 gold per turn. That's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to go for a scout opening here. And in terms of our early districting, there is an argument if you go for holy sites and religions. However, I think I, I liked playing John Carton without a religion. Your holy sites are good, but so are your campuses, commercial ups, and theater squares. So you do want to prioritize those types of districts. You also have a synergy with coastal cities. Uh, Harbor is really, really good on your coastal cities. Uh, your commercial hubs are good if they're on breathtaking tiles, though that's a little bit harder with floodplains and stuff like that. But wherever we can, we might get a couple of commercial hubs, but we're going to prioritize harbors over those. Our first district will probably be the campus because it's really early to unlock. I have a really good one right here, a plus six campus. Get us really early science return. And then maybe we can actually compete with some of the AI for some of the great scientists. There's a few things I want to try out here first. Um, I'm going to need mining so that I can clear the woods here. And then we're going to go up to writing, I think. We are playing DD Heroes, Secret Societies, and I believe this is a continents and islands map. So there should be a good amount of water to play with. Yeah, it looks like there's an oracle tile right here. Oh my gosh, yeah, you'll want to stick around. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be an incredibly strong city. I just have so many plans. Code of Laws turn four is ridiculous. So we're gonna plug in God King to make sure that we get our Pantheon nice and quick and plug in Survey so that we can get this scout upgraded as soon as we can. There's also a camp here, so I need to keep that in mind. I'm gonna go for foreign trade. A lot of these civics we're not gonna boost just because we just don't have time, but that is honestly okay with me. All right, come on. This guy's gonna go straight for the camp. Clearing this camp nice and early will help us get some early era score and will be a lot of fun. All right, so you're at nine. I'm going to heal for a turn here. The scout's going to go exploring. So I'm going to go ahead and rush straight for a settler. Let me move my scout quick. I'm actually going to plug in the discipline card for a little bit to just so I have enough time to clear out this barbarian camp. We're going straight for early empire. 
Because like, I want to get the city down ASAP so I can go straight for Oracle. Oracle tends to go really fast in certain games, so I want to be careful with it. Looks like there's a bunch of resources here. We can also settle over here to get a bunch of cities around Piatiti. I'm going to go straight for writing. I want to meet another Civ so we can boost writing. You're really close for promotion. You're one, one, one away. There's another ley line down here that's fantastic. We also found a COD. Melee and anti-cavalry units do full damage to city walls. That actually synergizes really well with maybe a very late digger push. Our digger unit gets 10 combat strength when they're on the coastal tiles. They also get 5 combat strength when fighting on neutral or foreign territory. So definitely an offensive unit. I want you to keep healing because I don't want him to attack and then be killed. Now it looks like there's. I'm going to step down here because it looks like there's actually a decent spot for another coastal city. The extra housing you get from John Curtin's land down under ability stacks with rivers. So if you can settle a coastal river city, you actually get a lot of housing. But this is actually one of the situations we might want to look at getting a commercial hub instead of a harbor, just because there's a ley line here. Hey, there's Indonesia. Nice to meet you. Boosted writing. If we look at the relationship tab, you can actually see we have a negative eight, which means the plus three from delegation probably isn't worth it. I do, however, want to try to buy something. I could buy a builder. We do have the mining tech unlocked, so I can get the salt and the copper online, as well as maybe get the sweet. We will buy ourselves a builder, and then we'll be able to sell some luxuries. Let's get a hit here so you can get a promotion. And we're going to step and improve that. The extra production here is going to help us quite a bit. And, and immediately denounce. That's, uh, that's problematic. <laughs> she probably won't like us because we have hermetic order. Oh, she doesn't have a secret society yet. She actually just hates us. Okay, cool. Not <laughs> Early Empire is done already. Meaning I'm going to go straight for mysticism to unlock this. Since the Oracle is going into this city, I'm probably going to put Pangala in our second city. Meaning our first governor can be Magnus. So we can go for provision. So we can actually hold on to the population. We have a low food start here. So I need to actually hold, make sure that we're not losing momentum every time we build a settler. Skatarja. We could... Also go Amani, though a cod. We don't have a first meet here. Yeah, it's definitely a Magnus play here, which means that chopping this tile will also work out well for us. Let's clear this camp and get down here to attack this camp. Let's get another production here. This is a beautiful start. This is, we have so much early momentum, so much. 21 gold per turn is ridiculous. Um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to snipe this camp. Unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm gonna go straight for writing so I can get this. I might go straight for buying another builder. Just so that I can boost craftsmen. Yeah, let's get this extra food tile. I actually want to work the food tile just to make sure my city can grow. How's this camp still here? Oh no, oh, I was one turn late. Sometimes things like that happen. Just the way it be. All right, cool. So we got a settler. We also grew. I'm going to keep this city growing. And in eight turns, I want to be able to build this campus. We have Magnus, so I should be able to chop for it too. You know what? I'm going to build the builder. So I might want to use Magnus up here to chop out Oracle. We might actually shuffle governors around a little bit this game. I normally don't like doing that, but sometimes with Magnus it's it's uh, necessary. So I'm going to save gold for a builder up here. So step up here. Let's see, let's some good land down here. Avoid the smaller sh shores. How dare you? I will get a boat, I swear. All right, we'll get a couple campuses ready here soon. This city needs some good tiles to work. So I'm gonna buy this food tile in the capital. That way I can go to Adelaide and actually swap it over without having to buy this tile. Yeah, that feels pretty good to me. Put a couple turns into a builder until we're ready for this campus. Keeping God King for a little bit longer. Yes, a goody hut. Also Volan, nice to meet you. Oh, I actually wanna pick this up with the survey card in. So I'm gonna actually tech this is some real quick so that I can run survey for this. I unfortunately need to keep <laughs> gogging in for one more turn. I'm going to grab this. <laughs> oh, and it's faith. That's <laughs> how so we finish our Pantheon. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's funny. All right. Well, I wish I had urban planning in now, but there was no way for me to know. So uh, I will plug in an envoy into Fallen to get plus one production towards to units in my capital. That includes civilian units like builders. Animal husbandry, all right. <laughs> all right, 
Let's keep on scouting around. There's some mountains down here. There should be... There should be someone down here, right? All right, we got a builder here. Now, Pantheon time. There's a few things we could go for. God of the Sea for fishing boat production is pretty decent. It's one, two, three, four, five production in these two cities. But we have a lot of inland area here. And because we're playing with ley lines, I kind of want to just play a game where we get as many great people as possible just to see how big the yields get by the end of the game. Um, because the Magus ability for Hermetic Order gives you yields equal to the amount of great people that you have recruited this game. Um, admirals and generals give science, so we get a bunch of admirals, generals, scientists, a bunch of writers, artists, musicians. Divine Spark actually synergizes with this really well because you get an additional great person point from holy sites. Uh, campuses if you have a library and theater squares if you have an amphitheater so we're gonna try to build as many of those as possible i actually could do a, a little bit of city planning here i and i think there's actually a incredible coliseum right right about here because that would hit my original cities it would hit some of these extra cities looks like actually there's a settlement here if i scoot this down i could get a city right here and even a city up here. So we can have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven city coliseum, which of course we could go ahead, put a couple of theta squares on both ends, uh, even on this end with the ley line. So between all these campuses, theta squares, maybe a couple of hoi sites every once in a while, we can get some, a lot of great people, especially with this uh, oracle that we're planning for. So I think the divine spark, strangely enough, is the choice this game. We'll put our return into the trader. And I know Katarja's here. I'm gonna go down to the south to see if we can find a neighbor down there. But yeah, I think this is the start of a pretty interesting game here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we chop out the campus. Or I don't have my third settler yet. So what I could do is I could promote provision on Magnus. We could switch to the colonization card, keep in survey, go to this settler, and then chop him out. Then we can also place this plus three, plus actually plus six campus, and we should be able to get this here. And once the settler is done, we'll move Magnus up here and we'll chop out for Oracle. To go for political philosophy, I want to go for autocracy this game. Give us additional 10% production towards wonders. Stack that with Corvée for 25%, and then also use Magnus to chop out. We should be able to grab Oracle pretty easily here. Looks like another Civis here. That looks like Dido to me. And there are barbarians nearby. So I'm going to get sailing. Here pretty soon. I'm gonna send this builder out this way to get ready to chop. And let's also make sure we can actually place this campus here. I do want to try to secure Oracle at all costs. We're gonna go straight for building it. Uh, which maybe I should actually improve this tile here. Oh, let's actually go meet Dido here. This is gonna be a really interesting game. There we go. We met Dido. What's her relationship status with us? It is minus six. I'll send her a delegation to make it only a negative three. And then hopefully we can get open borders as well. Actually, I wonder, do you, does it have to be mutual for her to like you? No, we just need to own her open borders. And now it's actually a plus zero relationship. So maybe we should be able to, to work on that. Get the settler out here. We can also now move Magnus to Adelaide so we can chop out Oracle. Let's go for that campus immediately. No one's working on scientist points yet. That's awesome. We're gonna go down south. Let's grab this nice food tile, focus food and production. Yeah, no, just work this, this ley line tile. No dogs in heaven. Oh, sweet. So we have horses here. That's actually a really good tile. So I'm glad that we're going to work that. So lock these two tiles in. Send a builder up here to get those horses online. I'm really glad we went for horses. Um, unfortunate that this one is blocked. Does that change our Coliseum at all? It might mean we do something like this. It kind of has to be there. So the salt's just a little bit in the way, but that's okay. Two theater squares here is pretty good to me. Let's go for sailing so I can get a boat. Let's also secure this builder. There we go. Get working on an Oracle. I need to get colonization out of here. But I might as well wait till we get autocracy ready. Oh my God, look how many horses we have. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, God of Craftsman would have been really good this game too. All right, settle here. Focus on the food and production first. And then I do need to get a government plaza somewhere. Preferably in this third city, just because there's no space in our town. This is our Oracle city. And then, uh, interestingly enough, there's actually like decent industrial zones around these horses. 
It's actually a pretty dang good industrial zone right here with his horse. Okay, get some good commercial hubs here. Jeez, I don't know where to put my government plaza. I think my government plaza just goes anywhere, right? Just to boost at least one district. Wow, I have no idea where to put it. This is always a district we're gonna build as soon as you can. I guess we just put it right here. Get a couple of districts nearby. Just could be anything. Maybe they're holy sites? Just start with the monument here. Because I don't know, man. Hey, Caesar's down here. It's gonna get open borders with him to get a good friendship going. She'll pay for my open borders. And then, yeah, things are going well. Except for Guitarja. Screw you, Guitarja. Oh, there's horses here too? Oh boy, that's a good tile now. All right, one turn for political philosophy. We're really close here. Keep these builders here for the chops. There we are. Government unlocked. Go for autocracy. 10% production towards wonders plus corvée, which is 15% plus room planning for additional three production. I can run charismatic leader for a little bit as well as maritime industries because we'll want boats here soon. All right, so now that we have this all established, I can finally get these chops going. Make sure that both of these tiles are in the city. Give this a chop and a chop. Get the Oracle almost done. Grab military tradition. Actually, maybe I'll save this. Go for common poetry. This city can actually place its government plaza now because we've chopped the woods out. We have lots of room to, to settle around here. Oh, there goes a wonder. Oh, that scared me. The pyramids. Okay, pyramids are... F that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. All right, I could actually make this mine here, or I could do this last chop just to secure the oracle. And I think that's the most important thing to do here. Now, I want to get up to harbors as soon as we can. So let's go for it. Temenaki's being built. Turn 41. Oracle will start to go soon. So what is this? 58 production? Oh, we're so close. Chop. Ah, two turns. <laughs> two turns left. Hey, God, can I sell off this salt? Not really. This is fine. This is fine. We'll get it, right? We'll get it, right? <laughs> we'll get it, right? <laughs> please. Please. One turn. I am one production away. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Oh, man. Just having one one horse improved would have uh, finished it by now. Or taking God of Craftsman. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Do we get it? Yes. We have built the Oracle. Also, the ancient era is about to end, so I need to worry about our golden age now. Beautiful. Beautiful. I wonder how close we were to actually losing it. That finishes drama and poetry for us, which means we got Thetis course unlocked. Fantastic. We'll now be able to move Magnus down to Sydney. And we'll be able to get settlers out of here soon. In terms of a golden age, we are one Eriscore away. That should be pretty easy to hit. I can't get first time sues of city-states. Getting a boat out would do it for us. So let's go ahead and get these galleys. We'll get two of them done, just so we can boost shipbuilding. And that will be our golden age. Nice. Nice. We, since we do have theta squares unlocked, we might as well go for them. I don't see anyone going for theta squares yet. The scientists are starting. Generally speaking, I like getting harbors down just so you can focus on gold, so you can buy things really quickly instead of focusing on yields like science and culture. But we have these now. <laughs> this thing needs to grow. This thing needs builders. I really want the harbors though. It's fine. I also need to get the uh, these guys improved. The fishing boats improved so we can boost celestial navigation. I just want to improve this horse first. All right, we're getting our first boat this turn. Boom, two Eris Corps. Let's change governments. We're actually gonna go to Classical Republic at this point. So we have more economic policy cards. We'll take out Corvée. We'll keep in maritime industries for a little bit. And we can run colonization. Let's get that horse improved. We'll go up to feudalism. We have a boat here to actually protect our things now so I can get these fishing boats improved. Save the district slot for the harbor. I'm gonna get a quick builder out of here. And you need to go for that campus ASAP. Ho Vampires? Hello. Uh, what? What? Don't you wanna... Don't you wanna... <laughs> okay, weirdo. Bunch of islands over here, which is really cool. I don't know where those barbarian boats went. 
I do have to be careful about where we're exploring. I don't want to get too much era score right now. Ancient era ends soon. A bunch of islands out this way. This scout's going to heal for a little bit. There's another continent up here. Crazy. Sell off my horses. And we actually have enough gold almost to buy a settler. Though this city also needs a builder. All right, that's empty for some reason. And with the golden age at the start of the classical era, just to wait to see our stats explode. We can take out maritime industries. We can actually go for uh, some, some of these great people. We're making one scientist point per turn. We can actually start running writers if we wanted to. There's a celestial nap boost. I'll send this guy out here, make a dedication. We can go free inquiry. We're not making a ton of faith, so monumentality is kind of a little bit out of the question. Free Inquiry means science of our, off the harbors we're about to build, though, which will be incredibly useful. Oh, I gotta be very careful with these barbarian boats nearby. Two turns until this. I need to start working on settlers. I mean, building settlers, I might as well get a builder here instead of buying them, because I just want to chop out these settlers. It's a really efficient use of all of our production. Let's get this trader. We can finally grab Pingala. I'll send him into Adelaide because this is gonna be our Pingala city. And we'll grab that goodie hut. Sure. A victorious army is one led by a victor. Yes, big, big victory. I did all of the work down here. Just definitely, <laughs> I am a big victor. Oh, Hinduism is here. Uh, that's choral music. That's actually incredibly useful. And Tanana Revo is here. I would love, we're the first to meet here too. I love to to get into any rebel. And, and they want the boost for iron working. Okay. Oh, there's barbarians up here. Well, that's annoying. We send my warrior back home. And what's our next biggest priority? I should probably go for some slingers. Harbors are ready. So let's go ahead. Let's get a plus five harbor here. And we're gonna get a plus four harbor here. Which also boosts the adjacency for our campuses additional plus one because there's two di districts next to it. Our next priority is just to settle as much as possible. Pick up irrigation. It's seven gold per turn right here and a good road out of this trade route. There's a culture bomb with the horses. Chop out this settler. I'm going to send the settler out to start claiming more land. I'm out here. Um, that means that harbors in these lakes are actually viable if we're getting science off of them as well. Oh my goodness, that's so good. But let's keep on settling. Uh, does this mean I want an Ancestral Hall, though? It looks like I would go Audience Chamber if it was just this land that we have, but there's also so many islands to consider. And I'm going to be stacking a lot of promotions on Pangala, so let's go for the Ancestral Hall, and then we're going to start getting a bunch of settlers out. I generally like to get at least three to four cities before building the Ancestral Hall, just because you don't want to delay your settling too long. Let's go for currency so I can get the commercial hubs ready. And I might actually want to spam out a couple of military units here soon as well. Get a couple of mines going, get an apprenticeship would be cool. Let's get another luxury as well. Sell off these horses for 100 gold. I need to keep an eye on my housing. If any of my city's housing is lowered, I should be ready to buy granaries. But since this city is busy, busy building harbors, what I should do is buy a couple of military units to get ready for this. Uh, I think there's a barbarian raid coming. Uh, in terms of victory condition, I don't know what we're going for. Uh, this actually does have a really good setup for some type of science game. We do have some snow out here, so um, a Munch and Scott research station is definitely viable. We could go for culture, just because we had so many theater squares. Um, or we could just use those theater squares for just base culture for a science game. Or we could do a digger push. Um, I think the possibilities are wide open. We had Brisbane settled here. I could go for a harbor. I could go straight for the entertainment complex. I think Brisbane will be building the Coliseum. This whole setup here, because Sydney's going to be busy with this industrial zone, which also is going to hit quite a few cities, right? This is going to hit a bunch of cities down here. Um, I just need to be able to have another industrial zone to hit this city, which might just be this one. It is our Pingala city, which means we'll get a bunch of engineers out of it. Uh, this city will need a builder. We're also working on feudalism, so this is probably going to be my last builder. But I'm going to go ahead and try to chop out this and then go for Coliseum. Let's get... We actually have a good amount of culture per turn. I need more science per turn. Especially if this is going to be a science game. Normally I go for Connoisseur first, but our culture is absolutely fine. Oh, there's so many islands to settle. I'm glad we're going Ancestral Hall. 
Oh, I won't settle towards you, I swear, Gatarsha. Gatarsha, where are all your cities? What? Where? Where are your cities? You only have one city. This is Deity, I swear. What? That's crazy. All right. Well, we have a lot of room, apparently, just because of that. So many islands. Oh my goodness. This game's gonna be fantastic. Uh, that's not cool. Oh, shh. I'm gonna lose that boat. Research time. I need to go for the wheel. Looks unlocked. Gonna go attack this guy. Try to get a archery boost. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna get a chop here. I want the city to grow, so I'll chop out the monument and then go for our entertainment entertainment complex. Oh, this guy survived. That's crazy. I need this city to keep growing. It is not growing because it's working this crazy tile. These two crazy tiles, which have low food, um, but the other yields are good. So I need to work a good food tile so that it will grow. The city is also having the same problem with one food tiles. You gotta prioritize food early. You want to be working food so that you can get your cities to grow so you can get more districts down. It's really important. Um, I will get this little culture bomb here. Boom. And I will need a unit here. Maybe we can go for a horse. If I get shipbuilding, I can also get, uh, grab these goody huts on these islands. So let's finish exploring around here. There's a unit I want to try to kill with this slinger. So let's go for shipbuilding while we delay archery. Uh oh. Let's get another salt here so I can sell the salt. Instant gold is just really, really good for us because I can get things immediately, like another scout. Or I can get a builder here and just chop out the ancestral hall. Again, or, or feudalism is really close though. Could I boost feudalism? Is it worth trying to boost it? I wonder. We have one farm, two farm. I could get a third farm, a fourth farm, and then just two more. Uh, it's gonna spend, it's gonna be four charges to do that though. Honestly, let's, let's just go for it. Boosting feudalism is something I don't do often, but it just feels good when you get it. Oh, my slinger. Okay. All right, there's a harbor done. I'm going to switch off of feudalism because we can actually boost this. Get recorded history set up. I need a little bit more gold. Let's get a couple of random farms. The library is going to be really important for us so we can get access to our pantheon. So I need to get those libraries up. We get the extra great people from libraries. One, two, three, four. Let's get this warrior up here. Our enemies are doing well. Get a little culture bomb here. It's time to go for. Let's actually unlock iron. Give both my boats healing. I need to settle this ASAP before Caesar does. Guitar wants to be friends. That's awesome. There's recorded history. We could also boom boost through feudalism. That's amazing. I need to keep colonization in. I need serfdom. And I would love to run natural philosophy for a little bit more science. We have a governor. I'm gonna go ahead and get grants so we can get more scientist points off of this city. So if you've been wondering what I've been trying to set up, a single campus will generate one scientist point per turn. When you add in Oracle, that becomes an additional plus two, so you get three per turn. When you add a library, that becomes four, but with Divine Spark, now that's five. Pangala and Grants doubles the great people generated in a city, which means that five scientist points per turn becomes 10. That is a tenfold increase of just a normal campus. That is why I've been avoiding building the government plaza in the Pangala city, because I want to try to build as many great people districts as possible inside of that city so that I can generate 10 scientist points per turn. 10 writer points per turn, a bunch of admirals, a bunch of engineers, etc, etc. I get a city up here. This warrior needs to stand on this tile to block it from being settled by Rome. I settled on iron somewhere, I guess. Oh no, I just have an iron mine. Right there. Nice. There's iron working. I'm gonna go straight for apprenticeship. And I still have to deal with these barbs up here. But I also just want to... <laughs> I kinda just want to be greedy. <laughs> oh, there's swords up here. Run away! Run away! An iron mine here. Beautiful. This game is going very well. We're so far ahead. Um, we can also get some friends. So let's actually make friendships with uh, Rome here. Um, I would like to be friends with the Katarsha. I don't know what happened to her settlers. But having trade routes and alliances coming up, like really soon, would be incredibly useful. Um, also, remember, we do have the access to the Outback stations. This is a really good tile improvement that gives one food and one production. It gives half a housing. It gives you additional food if you're adjacent to a pasture. So I want to put these around all of my horse resources. 
So I need to try to get as many of these. Can you put Outback stations on Tundra? No, you can't. So these need to be going around these horses. They're just strong tiles. This one right here. Ah, yes. Yes, they're finally here. All right, we're gonna get a couple of archers. Uh, even a horse, actually. Also, another governor title. So you go straight for Pingala 3. Get a little bit of extra culture. You can finally go for those settlers. I need to run discipline for a little bit to take care of the barbs, too. Oh no, I need shipbuilding! Oh no! Scout, run! I'm gonna get you. Also, let's look at the great people that have happened so far. Uh, I did go for scientists, knowing that the scientists are gonna be very competitive. But that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and get a horse. That's gonna be an air score, because it's our first, first horse unit. And it's time for go for civil service. Let's get Ayutaya on our side. Oh! Was that the first hero I discovered? I forgot I was playing with heroes mode. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, I don't know when we discovered a Nazi, but that's uh, that's actually an interesting play. There's also the twins that could get us a free army from all the barbarians. But also, I haven't built my mod units either. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh-oh. It's time to get a few settlers out too. I'm gonna settle down here. I need to settle over here. I need to settle up there. I'm gonna need a encampment soon. Oh no. Oh, the cliff. Shoot. All right, you should be able to step and promote though. There you go. Let's go for apprenticeship. Kill this unit, kill that unit. Yeah, going for three settlers right now feels pretty good. Oh, they killed him anyway. Dude, not cool. Not cool. Also, ley lines. Did not realize how good that was. I need more archers. I'm gonna need three of them to boost machinery anyway. We are, oh, our first uh, great person is an admiral. Sounds good to me. I want to go for a diplo service early. Oh, another great person. <gasps> we got a scientist. Let's go. We get two random technology inspirations and a random civic boost. Ooh, that was a lot. Stirrups, education, because because we got the scientist printing boost. That's awesome. Oh, there's an archer here. And you keep buying archers and sending them out. Doing a lot less of building things and more of just straight buying them because we have so much gold. Um, I can also get some water trade routes to Rome so we can get a ton of gold off of these trade routes. I'd also love to make sure that we get a research alliance to keep our science return going up. Uh, let's just get a friendship with the Guitarja at this point and get open borders. She's doing awfully. I don't know what's going on. I would love to go for education very early. You can also go for the mausoleum. James of St. George is the first engineer. Someone's going for engineer points already. All right, we got a settler. Let's see, how is this city doing? There's a bunch of breathtaking districts right here. So we're gonna go harbor into probably a breathtaking campus. Yeah, getting campuses and alchemical societies in every city will really help us roll with this good science start. Uh, religions still haven't gone. So I could actually start going for those holy sites soon. Man in arms over here, that's scary those three archers out Let's get a monument so i can actually get a hero settle this city this settler will go here and this settler will go up here we'll get an encampment this direction too go for something like this Ooh, you know what i just put a commercial hub on the hill and it's fine i'm gonna start trading with rome at this point because rome because we're trading over the water water will double the amount of gold that you're making so you can get a lot i want to start making trading posts in each of these cities too because you get more gold every time you go through a trading post and I definitely want to focus on our lighthouses, trade route capacity in general. This city needs an arena. We're going to place another district as well, which I'm going to need this encampment soon. But I also, this harbor is fantastic. I could save up gold for the arena. Temple of Artemis is still available, which is actually kind of surprising to me. We could throw a Temple of Artemis down here. Just throw it anywhere. Get some additional amenities in the, in the local area. Or get a really good theater square too. Uh-oh. Well, he's in the marsh, so he'll take a lot of damage. Let's start with some monuments so that we can get our heroes out. We get a bunch of military if we get the twins up here. Finally get the settler. Another admiral. Looks like the air is going to flip already. Wow. All right. Uh, it's because we we hit the medieval era, and so did other civs, probably. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we hit medieval era in tech and civics, so the air is moving pretty fast. This thing creates a quadrium. Nice. All right, I need to focus on Aero score right now. So settle the floodplain, get rid of these units, settle close to the volcanoes, Aero score, also Tundra. Hmm, 
Going for the mausoleum. I'm gonna need 20 era score. Oh boy. What? Oh no. Medieval era um, is another free inquiry. It would have been really nice to have. Hmm. I do need to start building up faith so I can start faith buying great people since we have the Oracle. I can get a builder. I could shop Temple of Artemis here. I could get an iron unit. I could get a hero. I could get both the heroes. I'll put this free promotion on this quadrine. Oh boy. Um, There are goody cuts to grab. Seven turns. Do we go Dark Age? Honestly, a Dark and a Heroic might be just fine. This The capital really needs a lighthouse to make these cities better. These, these this stuff better. Um, let me just grab this hero. Yeah, I think we're going to try to go for a Dark Age. 20 air score is just such a tall order. All right, let's settle here. We have a builder in this area. I can go for the Temple of Artemis. I can also just go for harbors. I need to get my gold income going. I need to be able to do more per turn, and that's what gold lets you do. Oh, goody huts. Might be worth getting a scout up here, or even the hero. Let's chop out this harbor. Still need this arena that we're saving up for. means now I can actually start working on Colosseum. We don't have access to Emotep, but that is okay. I'll put, be able to put the Wonder Card in next. We'll get all those wonders done at the very beginning of the next era. Oh, we have access to the Monarchy, which is really nice for us. Keep in Discipline, Inscription for a little bit extra gold, Republican Legacy, Serfdom, and time for Gothic Architecture so we can get our wonders. Oh, dude, all these droughts really hurt, though. I'm going to settle right here. We are going for that Dark Age, so everything we're doing right now is fine. Uh, I do have this encampment here because I don't want this commercial hub to be le anything less than breathtaking. I know it's under a volcano. It is okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. We can actually go for our back stations next to Ura as well. Get our lighthouse, keep our cities growing, get another city here. Uh, sorry, we're gonna settle over here, please. Do you, you're the one not settling. This is your fault. <laughs> All right, this city, we can actually go for industrial zones really soon. I'm gonna go for Temple of Artemis, of course. And I think it's the holy sites we want because the religion is still available. And it looks like I'm really close to getting a normal age. I'm gonna delay this settler. Rome is starting to get engineer points. I need to start keeping an eye on those. All right. Step across. 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 <laughs> Two turns until the era is over. We make sure this is in the city. This is a only a plus two holy site. Might as well chop it out. Wait for the era to flip. One turn for the era. Let's go ahead and grab this kill. What? Aw, oh, lame. I knew I should have shot with the archer first. Let's chop out this encampment here. The quadrium is going to stay around the capital. All right, here we are. Dark Age. <laughs> On purpose. This is okay. We can now settle here. Boom. One air score for a floodplain. And we're actually losing loyalty now. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. I will go for the plus four commercial hub. I need the city to grow. But as soon as we make it through this Dark Age, the next Heroic Age is going to be huge. Finish the holy site into a shrine. We're going to go for free inquiry so we can get a lot of easy era score. And now our priority is probably going to be Kilwa Kisawani. So then like the Forbidden City. And I want to get up to industrialization as fast as I can. Classical era wonder is something we can boost with Colosseum. Destruction. I need a water mill. And it has to be in this city. Uh, we can actually send Magnus down here to Rotterdam. That will hold this city's loyalty. Uh, that and a monument. And then we can actually send settlers out from this city. Another admiral. You can get a f early fleet. That's fantastic. We're going to send the galleys out to go explore. Let's grab this archer. Mine. Unfortunately, the rest of that raid is over. Um, I have military city states next to me that I trade with. Uh, I would also love culture bombs. But this vote doesn't matter too much. And we still got the culture bombs. Nice. Nice. We'll put some tiles back into the capital too. We need to start working on the mausoleum. I need to chop out this food here. Let's get an early fleet. We do need to start getting trade routes. Um, I will need a couple of builders. Let's get this kill. We got a free spearman. I don't know if we can farm this uh, camp at all anymore. Or if that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to kill the camp. 
Send our military back. More goody hats over here. All right. Yeah, we definitely need to get some scouts out. Ooh, the art of war. Hello. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and chop. make sure we chop that wheat tile instead of just crushing it. Go for stirrups. We'll get food on all of these pastures. Now, the question is, do we fight for more suzerains? Like a cod. A cod might be really useful at some point in the game. Especially if we, go to, if we want to go to war with our unique unit. All right, we'll chop some food right here. We will be going for the mausoleum next. And it's time for the Diplo service. Um, we can go for alchemical societies. I honestly completely forgot about them. So I'm going to definitely get as many campuses as possible. We also have access to our outback station. I think first, what we're going to want to do, this actually would be a really good arena city for all the trade routes that can go through here. Oh, there's your new cities. <laughs> That's time. Yeah, I think we're going to put Magnus back into the capital and the capital will spam settlers at some point while we get Reyna and we put her in Rockhampton. Now oh, that flood is actually very annoying. Let's get our app back. Keep getting trading posts through pretty much all of Rome. Oh, we can get a chop here for Colosseum. Let's get another builder here. We can get lumber mills and stuff. There is so many goody hats out here. Wow. I guess this quadrium can go and start killing some of these barb units. <laughs> Dido! Did Dido declare war on Rome? Yeah, Dido declared war on Rome, which means we declared war on Dido. I guess we're at war. Uh, it's time to run a Vistal Bank, and this is a, a bunch of food and production for trade routes with our allies. We can take out Discipline, and we can actually run Retainers and get amenities off of our units that we have. Uh, we can actually start getting really good theater squares down. <laughs> oh my god, is that a plus six? Oh man, I love this game. This game has such a wild start, but it's not over yet because it'll be crazier in the next video. So make sure you subscribe for part two. Later, nerds. Oh.